Oh, did you see that cute sweater? Quaker Factory coming up with Mary Beth Rowe. Very colorful. Well, sitting next to me, Cynthia Renee, and we're so thrilled to have her here. Why? Because she's the one that designs all these gorgeous pieces. She's the one. She's the one that travels. I'm so happy to be here to show it to everybody. And she's a relatively new mom. Mm -hmm. How's Mathea? She's six months old. Mathea's doing six beautifully. She's old. in the hotel with her great grandparents. And you just really celebrate femininity and womanhood and I combinations of colors. And, and, and that bringing our inside beauty to the outside, yeah. ornamenting us with the colored gemstones. I mean, you move differently, don't you, when you feel like you're ornamented and sure. adorned as opposed to, oh, I just threw this on. Oh, yeah. And that's what my jewelry does. One of our customers contacted me. She has two young sons, and she said, you know what your jewelry does? It makes me feel like a human being. Oh. You know, isn't that wonderful that yeah. she feels like alive and instead of just, oh, I'm going to throw on this schlumpy t-shirt and run out to the bank. And you can wear a schlumpy t-shirt and then wear this <laughs> ring and I tell you That's something, what she does. you know, it looks so good. This is, if you are an amethyst purist and you just love the pop mm -hmm. of deep, true amethyst and you love it accented with sterling silver, how about the gallery on this one? Mm -hmm. How about the size on this? This is actually a 2.65 carat total weight oval shape but in the east west design gemstone how are the pro the prongs on this are almost it's They're almost like an illusion design this is based like on floating i was in colombia looking for gemstones and you look at all the old colonial architecture and if you look at the side that's exactly what that looks like Ooh, colonial the scroll architecture work? the scroll work i'm going to slide this one on <laughs> by the way size six has just sold out size 10 will be the next to go in fact we're going to have to wrap a little bit earlier on this one than we had anticipated it is available for the first time ever on three easy payments just a few dozen now remaining in this ring so do not miss out beautiful we're going to work it will, it will, yeah. right yeah. with the amethyst yeah. and the, Perfect. because then you can do that all on one mm -hmm. arm or however you want. I think that will work nicely too. Well, we're going to move right into the pendant now. And this okay. one's brand new today and I've already, That's the Mary one Beth Rose up. stopped me, <laughs> Kim Parrish was in the back, like what are you wearing? And, and the like, makeup girl said too. I know. And this one too. And I wanted to show you against a color and mm -hmm. I'm going to try maybe a lavender. Mm -hmm. We can see that and see what this looks like. But explain to us what you've done with the cut because this I have to say. This is a pie shaped cut. Very And different. what this does, remember I said that my jewelry looks beautiful whichever way you move it's light, you know, it reflects the light and that's what this does. Wow. You'll move back and forth and people will come over and say, oh what's this around your neck? It was reflecting at me from across the room. Look at that. So. Look my mother this. makes the best pie in the world, so maybe my mother <laughs> should get this pendant too. Yeah, and you it's need accented to get Mom with iolite, the which iolites. is blue, uh huh, which are it gorgeous. makes actually that citrine pop a little bit more, and then silver beads in between the iolite. Wow. I like that multi-chain necklace too, doesn't it? it it's a neck yeah. piece, not and just a pendant. It's a neck piece. And I should say, mm -hmm. point out that you did kind of a, a hidden veil, I would say, exactly. right? So that you have these beautiful cable chains in sterling silver. Three of them. Mm -hmm. It's secured by a lobster claw clasp. It's 18 inch drop, but look at how that pendant just slides gracefully on that. But has anyone out there, anyone at home, have you ever seen a pie shaped gemstone? I no. haven't. And it's graceful. It's this visually elongating to your torso to have something that's elongated that. like that. You know, and it has so the curve. I'm not about sharp edges. It's that lovely curve shape. And, you know, citrine is a real wardrobe basic jewelry wardrobe basic it's very neutral you'll find that you can wear it with just about any color in your clothing and okay. with other combinations of gemstones so this is a real oh it's mic. a basic it's a must-have piece that is so gorgeous uh -huh. that is just stunning it Looks is brand with a new jean today. jacket with a navy the navy blazer i mean against the skin exactly against the skin it would look lovely and by the way the citrine is 4.68 carats of your total gemstone weight the iolite is 2.19 carats how did you facet? How did you cut the back? Because I look at this, mm -hmm. now some people might see it differently. Mm -hmm. It looks like a sunburst. That's what it looks like it to just me too. It looks like, like liquid gold, kind of like a flame yeah. top or something like that. That's the way that the, the light moves through it like that. So we just paid Pretty. very careful attention to the fastening on the bottom so all that light comes back out at you because it's light really in color. It. It's like stained glass windows. That's why I lift our soul. That's what good gemstones do to us too. Brings a smile to your face. It oh. just works. It and the way that you. that is cut. And then the iolite, which is the stone of friendship. I've Mm -hmm. loved, I've always loved that stone. And the stone. Vikings navigating stone. Yes. <laughs> You're right. You know what? It's such a, it's, it's romantic. It's feminine. No one's ever going to see anything like this. This will be your signature piece. And You're getting it directly from the designer, Cynthia, it's herself. It's attractive. It enhances you. It does. It's so uh -huh. pretty. Well, why don't we go to the phones and say hello to Lisa, who's joining us from Ohio. Oh, it's one of my favorite states. Lisa, please <laughs> meet Everyone's Cynthia. So nice there. Hi, how are you? Hi, Lisa. I'm doing very well. Thank you for calling. What well, did you I purchased the, uh, the cuff bracelet, and do me a favor, would you please design an entire set of suite to match that? Oh. You got it. Ring, please. <laughs> Isn't this Isn't gorgeous? Isn't it a beautiful combo? It's, it's 
really nice. Yeah. And look how it even looks nice with the citrine pendant. People think that they just have to wear all matching birthstones. No, I want to free us from that tyranny of matching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes, but I, I like the design, and really, I'm the person that normally goes against the grain anyways, and so oh. I, I like to mi mix and match, but I like that particular design, and so I think it would be nice to have. Well, then we'll get um, along fine to go <laughs> against the grain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good suggestion, and you know, you're talking to the right person, Lisa. She's, this is the lady sitting next to me that can make it happen. Well, and I hadn't done that color combo before. I wanted to test it, so I do really appreciate the feedback. Yeah. It's beautiful, and can, can I strongly suggest something else? What's could that? You, could you perhaps... Think about designing a sterling silver gemstone non-jewelry. Um, I can't hear except I don't have the. It's oh, a that, I'll interpret. Okay, please. can you possibly design a sterling silver? Not what were you saying? Gemstone non-jewelry selection, like um, snuff boxes or pill boxes or oh, something. pens. And I think it would be fun to do covers. something like that that could also then be jewelry that you can wear. So you can look at it beautifully on your coffee table and then also put it on your body when you're out wearing Absolutely. it. <laughs> Absolutely. In fact, try that with your bracelet. Set it up on its edge maybe and <laughs> set it on something like the way it is on the rock. I do that right. at home with my bracelet. Makes it pretty. <laughs> Well, but Lisa, I'm a collector of, of sterling silver um, pill boxes, and it's kind of difficult ah. to find them. And so I've always wanted to, I, I find just the regular ones, but uh, to find one that's embellished with gemstones, and um, I love collecting those sort of things. It would mm -hmm. be nice if someone would consider It sounds like you love beautiful things. Yes, I do. <laughs> well, Lisa, I hope that you enjoy that cuff bracelet, and I Cynthia... Will. You talk to the right person, so we'll try to do something to help you out in that category, okay? Okay. Thank okay. you so much. Thank Enjoy. You. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.